Good evening, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0, Day 43. So today we are still working through our campaigns section, and I'm going to teach you today how to send out uh, an email or set up an email campaign. So a few things we've got to do first in order to set this up. Number one, you do need to have a MailChimp account. If you have not set up for, uh, signed up for a MailChimp account, it is free. You're going to go to MailChimp.com backslash sign up and sign up for a free account. So you can go through MailChimp and do that. Once you have signed up for that account, you do want to make sure that you come into your settings menu in command and that under connected applications, MailChimp has been connected in order to send out email campaigns. So when you come down to connected apps, you have MailChimp connected, okay? And you can see that I have that connected. If you're not connected, you'll wanna go ahead and click on the connect account button, looking similar to this one, and then you will have the ability to do the rest of the challenge as we move forward. So first thing I wanna do, so today I wanna to send out a, uh, a mass email to uh, let's say buyers in my contacts. So the first thing I want to do um, for my purposes is go ahead and filter your contacts select that tag that you're going to filter your group by just so you know how many contacts you have and i'll tell you why that's important here in a few uh, so right now i have 15 people in my database set up as buyers uh, for my um in my actual contacts all right next thing i need to do is log into my mailchimp account and i want to click on audience and then i want to make sure that there are no audiences listed um, if you've been with us for a while, you know that MailChimp was the email provider that we were originally using for our monthly neighborhood nurturers. So you may have an entire series. I'll tell you when I was testing this out, I had about 112 audiences that were set up. They were one contact only, and they had a lot of gibberish, um, kind of a lot of numbers and letters put together as the audience name. So you're going to want to go through this was the audience I just created previously just to kind of test this all out as well. So bottom line is you can only have one audience in MailChimp when you're in the free account. So for right now, if you're going to send out a bulk email to your buyers and then you want to do another one to maybe your sellers, you are going to have to come into MailChimp and delete the audience that you previously created of buyers in order to send out that seller email. Also, just so you know, on the free plan, you cannot have more than 2,000 contacts per audience. So no more than one audience, no more than 2,000 contacts in that audience. And you cannot currently send more than 10,000 emails per month with your free MailChimp account. Now, I do know that KWRI and the labs team is working very hard to secure a new mass email provider. I don't know what the limits are going to be with that provider. We'll have to see. And yet this is currently the way to send out mass emails. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here. I'm going to click on this audience that I created previously. I'll click on delete. I do need to scroll down to the very bottom and I actually have to type out the word delete and then click on the button for delete. And that's going to remove that audience. This is my goal is to get to a screen that says you have not created any audiences yet. Okay. Next, I'm going to come back into command and I want to click on the campaign submenu here in the bottom left. And then I want to come over and create a new campaign. That new campaign is going to be an email based campaign. So I'll click on email and you'll see this looks very similar as far as the layout goes to some of the other, um, obviously the Facebook ad and some of the other things we were working on. First thing is the campaign goal. So let's say um, I was advertising a new listing to attract buyers. I could click on that. Marketing campaign name, I might just say um, Lodge Meadows send out to buyers, right? Uh, what email account do I want to send this from? I'm going to send it from my marty.miller at KW account. Next, it's going to say, who are you sending this campaign to? And so I'm going to click on add list. And it's going to allow me to create an audience from command that will then link to MailChimp. So the first thing I would do is basically just call this my buyers. I might put a, a date on here if I wanted to. Uh, default subject, right, is check out Cinco Ranch's newest 
listing, right? Something along those lines. Uh, I want to send it from my email. What's the default from name? So I'm just going to put Marty Miller. And next I have the ability to either add independent contacts. So I could go through here. I could actually search for contacts. So let's say I wanted to send this to AA seller, right? So you can go through and, well, I guess it's not going to bring that up, but you could independently add the contacts. Here's most likely what you're going to end up doing is add contact tags. So I'm going to select tags and then I want to scroll through until I find the buyer tag. Okay. And remind people how they signed up to your list. You have previously enter acted with or corresponded with Marty Miller with Keller Williams Platinum Realty, right? So something along those lines, just so the people that are getting this email know why they were on this list. Um, you Obviously the goal is for them not to unsubscribe, especially if you're gonna continue to email to the same list. If they unsubscribe in MailChimp, that email will be blocked from you sending out to them any further emails. So just a heads up there. So once I click, click excuse me, on a save list, you'll see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get kind of a spinning wheel here. And what's happening is Command is now communicating with MailChimp to create that audience. And I'll show you what that looks like. It says I haven't created an audience yet. However, if I click on refresh, you'll see that I now have an audience created. Here was the name of that audience. And I had 14 contacts. Now remember earlier, right, I did a sort and it had 15 contacts and yet only 14 are showing up right now. Let's do a quick refresh and see if we pick up that 15th person. Nope, only 14 for now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on create campaign. We're gonna start working through here and we'll see if that changes in just a bit. Uh, so what is the subject line? Again, I'm gonna put that subject line, the same one that I did for the audience. So check out Cinco Ranch's newest, I don't know, home for sale, right? Um, and then finally is the content. So this is where I can actually create my design from designs and then apply it to this email campaign. So I'm gonna click on apply design and this is gonna bring up my all of my previous uh, templates that I have created. So if I already had a, a template that I wanted to use, I could do that, or I could click on create new template. And when I do that, it opens up a new window and takes me into designs, into the design editor, if you will. So I'll click on the plus sign. I want to create an email template. Now we didn't do this when we ran through design. So this is kind of new as well. At the top, I can title what I want this template to be called. So it might just be a uh, Lodge uh, Meadows buyer send out. And I could associate a listing with it if I wanted to, to come in and find Lodge Meadows and search. Right now it's not really gonna do much. It doesn't really pull in a lot of information um, that is going to hopefully change in the future. Um, and then on the right hand side, I have the ability to add layout sections and also content sections. So let's just say I wanted to add text to start and I'll just put, let me delete out the insert your text here. Um, check out Cinco Ranch's newest listing, right? And then I could drop in an image. So my template was auto saved. Now I'm gonna drop in, oops, that's not what we wanted to do. So let's click on that. We should be able to, let's see, delete that. Is it gonna let me delete this one out? Um, it is not, so let's go back. And again, sometimes it's just a learning process with these designs. So I'm just gonna do that all over again, email, create design, and let's add in the text. And delete out insert text here, check. Cinco Ranch's newest listing. And done on that. It's going to auto save. Okay, so then I can drag over. I need to make sure I'm using my left click button. There we go. Drag that over. It's going to allow me to then choose a file. So I could go through and let's just say I wanted the front door going in. Where is that? Uh, there it is. Okay, so I could put that in and it's gonna upload it. Once I click on it, it's gonna bring it into my email here down below. 
and it's a little oversized obviously so I'm going to click on this top right hand corner and I'm just going to keep dragging down to the bottom right and I want to get down to the point where I can see this okay and then let's resize that so it looks correct there we go and there we go whoops don't want to overdo that there we are so looking into the door of the front house i could add in one more text section here at the bottom obviously you know you can keep going you could add in buttons and dividers and quotes and um, you can even do sections that are side by side three side by side by side um, right uh, one that's next to each other but three sevenths so you kind of have a smaller section a bigger section whatever you wanted to do um, this Right, and I could just, I'm just gonna do it real short, right? I'm not gonna do all of the information that I would put in here, but four, 2.5, three car, um, 2587. I'm just making this information up, right? Built in 1990 and then listed at 425, 435,000, whatever. Um, you can come through and actually play with the editor and some of these other options that are up here. We're not gonna do that right now, just so for time's sake of this video. Um, I am going to come up here and change the name. Um, I'm just going to highlight this and delete it out. And I can say Lodge Meadows Buyer Send Out. And then finally click on Update Template. So once the template is updated, I can click on the back arrow. Um, and would I like to say yes, I would. And then remember this opened a separate window. So I'm going to come back to the window where my campaign was. And you can now, if I go, let me refresh real quick, reload the site, I should be able to get the campaign. Oops, don't tell me, it took me back to the very beginning. Oh, it sure did. All right, well, learning process for me as well. So we would go back through and just do Lodge Meadows. So what you don't wanna do is hit refresh at that point. You wanna just go back and then you can find it. Um, so I've already created that list. So here's my buyer's list, 1620. Um, email subject, check out Cinco Ranch's hottest new listing. And now, because I've created a design, I can click on Apply Design, and there it is. So Lodge Meadows send out. I'll choose that. It's going to show me what that email looks like. I can say Apply Design. Here on the right-hand side, it shows me kind of what that email looks like. Now, I could have resized this photo. I could have centered this stuff. I could. You know, there's a lot of things I could have done in the editor. But again, just to kind of get through the video, this is the basic email that would be sent out. And once I am finished, I can preview. It's gonna show me what the email looks like. Obviously content wise, I probably could have done a little better, but this is what it would look like on a full screen, on a tablet, and then on a phone as well. So I can X that out. If I'm ready to go, I would click on send, and this email would then be sent to everybody that's in that audience or I could save as draft if I wanted to come back and continue building it out. So you can see here is the draft email that I've sent, um, that I haven't sent, I've actually saved it. If I wanted to go in and actually send it out, then I could start getting metrics on open rate, click-through rate, uh, if there's any bounce backs, anything along those lines as well. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, my battery on my laptop's about to die. I need to go plug that in so I can get this video uploaded. Uh, but that's today's 66 day challenge. Remember, if you're going to create a second campaign, you need to come back into MailChimp first, delete this audience, and then create that list a second time like we did the uh, first time around. So hopefully that's helpful and uh, know that obviously it's going to get a little bit more simplistic and a little bit more robust when we have the ability to create more than one audience with our new email provider. I don't have a timeline for you there, um, hopefully soon. That's pretty much all I can say because that's all I know. So as always, guys, I hope you're having a fantastic night and I will look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much.